Uh, say hello, John. Howdy. <laughs> uh, we're here with John Barrymore this morning at Denny's having a bite to eat. Oh, and a cup of coffee. John's having tea. And John, we, and we were just sitting here watching, uh, we were watching uh, his great-grandfather in Richard III. Actually, it was uh, from Henry VI, Part Two, where Gloucester's predicting what he's going to do in Richard III. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah. I'm glad you uh, verified that for me because I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, obviously. But you do, and, and that's why we're that's why we're going to ask you some questions, John, and see if we can get some cool-ass answers. I'm sure a lot of people would like to know about your family and how they started and, you know, all that good stuff. So, uh... How did what, what what how did they start? What 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 got your family into the into the business? I mean, well, my great grandfather was born in India, and his mother was half caste. A what? Half caste, um, Anglo Indian. Uh, so when Twenty Three and Me identified me as four percent South Asian, I did the math, and that's exactly the right number, as a matter of fact. But uh, he was supposed to be a lawyer, and uh, when he became an actor, it was uh, actors were uh, on a par with prostitutes and drug addicts in those days. So to spare his family the disgrace of having an actor in the family, he changed his name from Blythe to Barrymore, stealing the name from William Barrymore, a famous 18th century rake womanizer, gambler, theater enthusiast, dead at the age of 23. Oh my god! <laughs> and uh, when I met Lawrence Olivier in my 20s and was introduced as John Barrymore the third, he said, nice to meet you Mr. Blythe. <laughs> Just to let me know that he knew what the fuck was up with my family history. <laughs> That's incredible man. That's wild man. That's so wild. So um, so he married, he moved here to the U U.S. and married into a very famous acting family, the Drew family. This is your great-grandfather? Yes. His mother-in-law was a star when she was eight years old. And she managed the Art Street Theater in Philadelphia for 37 years. And her grandchildren were John, Lionel, and Ethel. And that's where they got their start, at the Art Street Theater in Philadelphia. Oh, Paula Jacquard is calling me. I wonder if she could watch. 